In the previous video, I spoke about how electrons carry charge through a circuit. It so happens that electrons are negatively charged, so it's the negative charges that move through a circuit. But before this was known, everyone assumed it was the positive charges that moved, and we call this movement of positive charges conventional current. Because this system of positive charges moving was used for such a long time, most electricians and engineers still use it today. Here's a diagram to help explain the difference between conventional current and electron flow. So in future, when we talk about electrical current, we're going to assume that the positive charges move from the positive terminal of the battery towards the negative terminal of the battery. So in reality, it's electrons which move. In this diagram, they're moving towards the right side. However, for most practical applications, there is no real difference between conventional current and electron current. So it's very difficult to determine the difference between electron current and conventional current. The only measurable difference between these two is a phenomenon called the Hall effect. The Hall effect's a little bit complicated for us to have a look at at this stage because we haven't had a look at magnetic fields yet. But if you want to, feel free to give it a Google and have a look.